we're just taking you guys along with me as I go grocery shopping today. <laughs> so I'm just heading to Countdown right now. Kia ora and welcome back to another video. My name is Becca if you're new here and today I thought I would just take you along grocery shopping with me because it's one of my greatest pleasures and joys in this life <laughs> is grocery shopping and eating food. So thought I'd take you along. Also, it is such a different experience grocery shopping here than in the U.S. for me at least. So yeah, I just kind of wanted to take you along and show you what it's like here in New Zealand. Okay, anyways, enough talking. Let's go grocery shopping. <laughs> I just feel like a grocery store really gives you a feel of the country. Like it's very telling about the country and the people. I might be the only one in the world that thinks that. For example, when we went to London, I was so dang excited to go to Tesco's, their grocery store. It's just so different and I don't know. I really love it. It really helps you get a sense of what the country is into, how they eat, and that's a big part of a culture. So anytime I travel, I love going to the grocery stores. You're immediately hit with the different kind of produce, the different kind of products, the different packaging and brands. All the brands are completely different. All of the units of measurements are usually different if you're traveling to another country. It's just all so different and it's like your first dive into experiencing another country. I don't know, I love it. Oh, so next week's video, we are going to be doing another Americans trying New Zealand foods because we are locked down and bored and we really want an excuse to eat a bunch of junk food. <laughs> So if you have any ideas or have any things that you want us to try, definitely tell us in the comments below. Just made it back from the store. So I know I've talked about this before, but one of the most like striking things to me is that there's no super supermarkets here. So in the US, we would go to pretty much one store, get everything that we needed, and that was that. Whereas here, I go to four different shops. <laughs> to get everything that I need at the prices that I want. So we go to Countdown for most of our shelf stable items. And then we go to our local fruit and veg shop for a lot of our fresh produce. And then I go to an Asian market called Jaydan for our tofu and any of our Asian goods, of course. And I always get our mushrooms there for some reason. I don't know, they're really good. We also get a produce box mailed to us every two weeks. Yeah and that is from local farms that are spray free and organic so i really love that i have found that the produce from those are so good i had a broccoli from one of them a couple weeks ago and i was like i didn't even know broccoli tasted like this that's a big difference and even like the produce at the grocery stores a lot of times it tastes i would say better but it's definitely different especially directly from the farm oh, it's so good Oh, thank you. The last place that we go to is Ben Inn. So it's our bulk store that I like going to. And that's where we get a lot of our grains, legumes, anything that's dried, seeds, nuts. So it's really great. And we get a lot of stuff from there too. I am just so excited for summertime to eat berries. And I'm going to eat my weight and watermelon. <sighs> Yeah, it's just been a while because we went through winter in the U.S. and we moved here for winter in New Zealand. So we've gone through two winters and of course they eat a lot more seasonally here. Now I love oranges, but I've been eating them for like a year now. I'm just really excited for watermelon. In the U.S. you shop and if it says it's $5, it's not actually $5. You go to the register and then they add the tax on there. Whereas in New Zealand, the tax is included in the sticker price. So it's not a shock to you later and you don't have to do this like crazy mental math to try to figure out about how much the taxes are costing you. It's really nice. <laughs> I really like how they do it here. That's one of the reasons why I think things seem more expensive here sometimes is you look at a product and it says it's $14, but that's because the tax is already added into it. It's locked down right now in New Zealand. So some of the things are harder to find, you know, like the pasta is a little more barren, the flour and, you know, like the toilet paper is being wiped out. That's not normal. <laughs> Usually everything is very well stocked. Another perk of lockdown is that there's always long lines out of countdown, which is fine. They usually go pretty quick. 
And then it's also funny because the parking lots are always full. <laughs> Because everybody's there because there's nothing else to do and everybody's bored. And also everybody's doing a ton more baking and cooking at home. So they need a lot more grocery food. So it's just kind of funny. That's where everybody's hanging out these days. Anyways, I'm going to bring all this inside before my berries melt. Thank you, little hands. So yeah, we get kumara, red onions. I like these figs because they're a really good snack for a baby. The odd bunch bags, so good. And then just regular stuff, you know, we got a lot of sugar for baking, coconut flour, um, we got Whitaker's, and then a second Whitaker's. <laughs> uh, we got a bunch of coconut milk, I don't usually get this brand, but all of the coconut milk was wiped out. And then I like to get these Series Organics tomatoes, because I like organic tomatoes. And then this maple syrup, oh, I love maple syrup so much. And then we were out of kitchen garbage bags, so nabbed some of those. And then I like to keep a few cans of black beans around. The peanut butter selection was very sad. Usually we get the big bottles of peanut butter, but they didn't have any. So. <laughs> drinking the maple syrup? The good stuff, yeah. <laughs> we're walking to J. Dan right now. Absolutely love that place. I just learned that there's another really good Asian market like right across the street from it called Taiping. So super excited to check that out soon. This and Fresho are so close together. So we can just walk to it all the time whenever we need anything. Our like grocery trips there are very small, but very frequent. Like sometimes I'll go to Fresho every day because I'm out walking anyway. So I'll just stop and buy a head of broccoli or whatever we need for our meal. A great thing about being plant-based is that you honestly don't even have to look at half the store. We won't go down like whole aisles because we don't go through the meat section or the dairy section. We don't even usually go down the chip or the snack aisles because we don't eat that very often. Not trying to say that we eat perfectly. <laughs> I say we eat pretty healthy like 80-90% of the time and then yeah we'll indulge in whatever we feel like some of the things that i try to look for in our groceries are i like to try to get organic when possible and when it makes sense i'm also always trying to get the least processed products possible so i'm always looking at ingredients lists and trying to find the ones that have just very minimal like real foods in them i try very hard not to get anything with sugar in it or well it's not an issue here but like corn syrup or anything like that yeah definitely try to avoid <laughs> back to Jay Dan so here's our little haul from Jay Dan so this is all reduced section because I love buying reduced. Look at this cheaper. Yeah, apples into applesauce, potatoes, because we eat a lot of potatoes. And then I just freeze bananas. So I love it when they go on to reduced prices. And then we love getting fresh noodles. They are so tasty. We usually freeze them if we're not gonna use them soon. Um, and then we got these for fun. We'll try them out. Got some of this. Usually I get this from Fresho, but mm, just grabbed it from here today. And then mushrooms. We always get mushrooms and then tofu. <laughs> they laugh at me every single time because we have this huge bin for these little tiny tofus. Oh, they laugh at me so much. We're gonna be best friends, but yeah. Staples are the mushrooms and the tofu and the fresh noodles. Went to bin in, which I always love. So this time, I mean, it's always random what I get because it's just whatever bulk item we run out of. So pumpkin seeds, we use these a lot. They're so good to add to anything. And then red rice. Just because I get tired of white rice, you know? So I got these <laughs> haircut beans and then maybe there's a split yellow lentils, but I got them just so we can have like a fun play time with our baby because he's tired of all his toys. This is amaranth, which I love adding to our oatmeal for extra protein and iron. And then these are just chickpeas. And this. I'm really sad, but the whole world is out of bread flour right now. And we make some killer sourdough bread, but I just got white because most of the world is out of white flour too. <laughs> but they had this. I actually like emptied the bin just getting these two little bags. And then 
almost felt better. So, yum. Forgot these because we put them away already, but this is raw cashews. Awesome for making vegan cheese sauces. And then nutritional yeast, which it comes so weird looking here, but it's delicious and it smells really good right now. This is our beautiful pantry. It's a little disorganized right now. I do love me a full pantry though. Look, there's stuff tucked back here too. This is where we keep our Instant Pot and blender. I'm just so excited to eat all the food that we just bought. <laughs> so some of the meals we'll be making with it is, um, Billy's gonna make Dumalu, which we've never had before, but we're so excited to try. We make Kumra curries a lot, which are so good. <laughs> And we have a chili garlic noodle recipe that we really like that we'll make. And we've been kind of into salads recently, which is not me at all, but I've been enjoying them. So I'm gonna do it while it lasts. Tofu scramble, another meal that we will definitely be making with all this stuff. And then we had to get some yummy treats for lockdown, you know? <laughs> Cause yeah, we're gonna be doing a lot of baking and you just need something good to kind of keep your sanity. So, but yeah, we just feel so lucky. <laughs> Do you see yourself? Yeah. We feel so lucky to have all these amazing stores like right close by us. I can walk to most of them and... Yeah. What do you see? Oh, you want a snack? And... Oh, hi. And we have access to a bunch of really good food and really good produce. So we feel really lucky about that. But I think I'm going to end the video yeah. here. Don't forget to comment what treats we should be trying for next yeah. week. <laughs> I think we'll have a good time with that one. Anyways, thanks for watching. Bye. Can you wave? Can you wave? Say bye bye. Bye bye. <gasps> Yay! Good waving. <laughs> All right. Bye. Mm. Oh, thank you. Oh, you read it.